All right, so question on the table for today. What would happen if robots took over the world? Hmm? Y'all know? I mean, it's just one of life's biggest mysteries that there is. Like, does Bigfoot have a human pecker or one of those red rocket things? I mean, nobody knows. <laughs> oh, my mentors are so proud of me right now. But when you really, really think about it, AI is a pr completely brand new concept. I mean, it's very, very dangerous. So when you're dealing with it, you got to be as careful as a naked man crawling through a barbed wire fence. First, we got to acknowledge that the truth is liberals are, most of them, extremely lazy completely lazy people as a whole. Most of them just do not wake up in the morning thinking, how can I make a whole bunch of money? How can I be industrious? Instead, they're waking up going like this. How can I get more handouts from you? How can I get more handouts from me? <laughs> Everyone's talking about the wage gap the whole last 10, 15, 20 years, but nobody is talking about the intelligence gap. This is gonna rock your world. Y'all ready for this? In communist China, who completely owns TikTok. Y'all know that, right? The algorithm that they serve to their youth in China is a completely different algorithm than they serve to Europe and a totally different algorithm that they serve to North America. For instance, in communist China, their government serves an algorithm to their youth, which is uh, exalting the values of hard work, the values of social enterprise, mastering skills in uh, martial arts, in anything where youth is seen to be successful. In Europe and North America, however, the algorithm feeds young people with all the nonsense that there possibly is. Girls dancing, stupid pranks on friends, stupid pranks on your family. Uh, and I'm not saying none of them ain't funny. Some of them are funny as hell. But if you want to destroy a nation, reward them for thinking that stupid things are good and good things are a complete waste of time. Now, somebody said something about good news? Because I'm personally tired of my fellow Patriots looking as depressed as Tom Brady at a post-game conference, okay? I personally believe that robots taking over the world would tremendously hurt liberals. Since liberals are inherently lazy and they lack the basic human survival skills such as common sense, they'd go about two or three generations of complete reliance on robots and then become pretty much like vegetables. Conservatives, on the other hand, I believe, would learn how to make these robots work for us. They'd be industrious. They'd capitalize on industry. They'd capitalize on the newfound uh, super intelligence that we've now got access to. If the mind can be programmed in the future, then the liberal mind can be tick, tick, deleted. And that's a good thing. After all, liberals are pretty much like wild pigs. All they do is dig holes and screw. <laughs> in this case, they're digging holes in your pocketbook. What we need to do in the early stages, I think, is to program AI to perpetually favor folks that are industrious and find a way to penalize those who are lazy. This is going to ensure that the whole liberal mindset will never be accepted in the new rules and the new laws, which, by the way, are going to probably be written by robots. The robots are going to be taught to reward conservatives with political power and financial gain and penalize those who are pretty much just taking up space. Thankfully, we've got guys like Elon Musk uh, who's going to find a way to set the parameters for more of a conservative algorithm than a guy like Bill Gates who knows humans are stupid and he wants to just capitalize it so he can rule the world. I think Gates is a cyborg anyway. There'd be a few downsides, of course, besides robots killing us in the end anyway, which is pretty much what's going to happen. But if I'm going out, I'm going out with my mental faculties intact. I think if uh, robots rewarded industry, conservatives could control the human race for about the next million years. Oh, and by the way, the whole woke thing would completely go extinct because the woke thing is all emotional. Robots are rational. So bring on the robot age, y'all. I'm ready. <laughs> y'all make sure to subscribe. And uh, remember, every time somebody subscribes to this channel, a liberal on Weight Watchers miraculously gains 25 pounds overnight. <laughs> y'all be good. <laughs> Thank you.